This episode of When Reality Hits is brought to you by Booking.com. Book whoever you want to be on Booking.com. Booking. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome back to When Reality Hits. How's everybody doing? <laughs> Today, we have a special guest on, our castmate, best friend, and the person who's been on our, our podcast more than anybody else so far, <laughs> Kristen Doty. Hey, hey, I've been on more than anyone. That's exciting. Three times, I think. Because I'm the most special. <laughs> yes. I'm so excited. So We got a lot to talk about. We got to get right into it. Yeah, we have a lot to talk about. We are going to play the trailer because Jax has not even watched our super tease yet. Oh so we're going to play it. And you're going to hear our reactions. And I'm excited because Jax never is, watches anything. This is no, I don't watch it. Ew, why'd you say that? <laughs> Did you really say that? I'd rather be on Vanderpump Rules. You should, what you should have said is, I didn't sign up to be on Vanderpump Rules again. This wasn't the deal. That's what I feel like being on. Oh, yeah. So we just finished the trailer. Jax, that was your first time seeing it, right? The super tease? Yeah. As you guys know, I ha- nothing's changed. I still don't watch the show uh, or the teaser. I like to be surprised and obviously things are... Wow, uh, that is an incredible, incredible teaser. Um, I feel like it's uh, people are going to get a lot more excited that they're seeing that teaser than any of the other teasers. Oh yeah, I've already gotten so many comments. Like now that I saw this te- teaser, I'm definitely watching. Like that was a real. I mean, it was I horrible forgot. for us. It, made, it yeah. gave me so much anxiety. anxiety. Yes. But- that means it's great TV. Yeah. Like, it's obviously going to be a really good show. Wow. Uh, and who, we brought it for wait, sure. Let's make this very clear, this whole cheating thing. Let's clear this up yeah. that we talked about this. So Katie, wonderful Katie that we love dearly, <laughs> like saw a picture of me uh, taking a picture with a promoter who, by the way, the person taking the picture was her boyfriend. It was in Atlantic City. We've all done jobs. Me, Tom, Tom. We've done plenty of appearances with her. Her boyfriend is the one that took the picture. There was no cheating. But Katie just likes to stir the pot, doing what she does best. Jax, so, okay. God. So the bottom line is, there. Jax did not cheat on Brittany. No. I'm here to say it. That has nothing to do with what yeah. the separation you. is about, what no. their relationship woes are. I would be the first one to be yeah. screaming it from a freaking mountaintop. It is not true. And the blonde girl that was just like, yeah, who was that? I, I think that was probably just like a hostess of yeah. a restaurant. You it was guys like went a, in or something. But you they, know what? They, they edit so Those good. Those motherfucking <laughs> editors. Those editors. I tell you what, they're good at their job, bro. Br- Brittany, <laughs> bro. Well, well, me, Brittany, and Kristen have been away from the cameras for a while. But I tell you what, that just like these editors have not skipped a beat. Well, you they know what not. else I noticed is like it almost looks like Michelle was in the you sexy photos. I know. <laughs> Did. So many people were commenting oh. like, hold on, was your friend sending Jack sexy photos? And I was like, no. Oh, I didn't no. get that. She's like all, one of my best friends. I, I, I guess because I'm so biased. Because I couldn't you know. see it that way. You know. Yeah. So like, but people who don't know watching that, like, it, and she oh kind of smirks, you know? Yeah. So yeah. it almost looks like that she was so sending this, Jack by the sexy way, photos. That was towards the end. For me, what I really liked about the trailer is that, and I was on the phone with Jasmine today and Zach later, and I was like, oh, my gosh, there's going to be so many things that a lot of us weren't around for. Like, oh, you, yeah. You know, you guys were with this group or you, we were all together and these people weren't there. And we're going to watch this and mm-hmm. go, holy. Because you forget. Like, that date night where I'm crying at Jack's yeah. and, my, and that black outfit yeah. with the black glasses. Like, that was just him and I. You right. know, that there's whole There's so scene. many things I, I didn't know about. Even though, like, we lived the summer together. Yeah. I'm like, wait, what's that? Because we have to realize we don't always all film together. So, you know, right. there's always other things going on. There's other conversations. And you're going to be like, oh, my God, I forgot. And well, that's also something I always talk about in reality TV is, like, we have no idea what the other person is filming about, talking about. But when you watch it as a show, like, you know everything. So that as the viewer, they expect us to know everything. Well, like, I don't know everything that was said so, or everything that was done. You know what I mean? We find out when we watch the show. So for me, though, I have a little bit of a different perspective because of all my years on Vanderpump Rules, sometimes we would be like, what did you film yesterday? Or what did you do? Yeah. And then this they find is out different because y'all all had kids to go home to. Mm-hmm. Like, y'all have houses with babies and other shit going on that wasn't just, like, working at Sir and gossiping with each other. Right. Yeah. So that's why, for me, 
as a cast member on The Valley, it's so different because we didn't talk about what yeah. did you film yesterday. And I actually nobody like, got time for that right now. And I actually like that better because Me there's too. nothing worse than somebody trying to like plan a scene with <sighs> you. Like I hate that. Like what are we going to talk about in the scene? Like no, 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 no. Tom Sandoval. <clears throat> yeah, seriously. I'm like no, no, no. I don't want to talk about about what we're going to talk about before we talk about it. Like I just cannot do that. <laughs> I'm stressed enough that I have to talk about this topic. Like we're waiting until we get on camera. Yeah. Like, Absolutely. That's kind of how we do. And so, it's authentic. Yeah. So, Kristen, how did you feel overall about the trailer? So, like I said, it gave me anxiety, yeah. which means it's good for TV. And it was <laughs> not just, like, the footage, but it was, like, the music and the, the, like, the rushing through the scenes. And I'm going, oh, my gosh, wait, what, 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 what is happening? Holy crap. And what I really liked is that some there's part of me that wishes this was the first teaser put out. I know. But at the me same too. time, I'm kind of glad it wasn't because— at first, what I and when I say comments, I mean just what I've read on social media, right? There was a lot of people, maybe like a 60-40 split, 40% of the people with the first um, look at our stuff when it first came out a few mm-hmm. weeks ago that were like, this is a breath of fresh air. It's a, li- a little bit more lighthearted. They're not faking <laughs> working at a restaurant. Yeah. And then there was like 60% going, this looks boring as shit. Now, this comes out today, and immediately people were saying, Wow. Just kidding. I'm watching it. Yeah, just kidding. Yeah. And also, I think they had to pivot a little bit because of everything that's going on in Jack's and our relationship. Mm-hmm. I and agree. Some and other that's kind of why that I think. Yeah, that's, of course. But you know what I mean? Like, I feel course. like. I, I honestly think because uh, my publicist saw the episode, Lori saw the public, uh, the episode already. I think that they changed some things around and had that. Com- there's a conversation that's going to be on the show tonight between Lala, Katie, Sheena, and. I think it's Ariana. You're talking about Vanderpump Rules. He's not talking about the Valley. I know, you gotta make that clear. Right. But I feel like <laughs> the fact that they have to come and talk about me, that I'm not even on the show, should say something. Like, mm-hmm. why did they bring this back up now all of a sudden? Which is a little suspect to me, which I think it's because of what's going on with us. So Maybe, they're making I it seem – I just want to be make it very clear. They're having a conversation tonight. <laughs> okay. that it did not happen. So I'm just okay. get it out of your Well, place. this episode will come out after it's already aired, I so know. they're going to know what you're talking but, about. Okay. Something I also want to touch on – and. I've talked about this on my podcast before, and I know you guys have too, is like this whole idea from social media trolls that there's some. this is some PR stunt Ugh. rather than Who would something put their you, child through a PR right. stunt? So what I want to make clear watching this trail, this this teaser, is there's all that footage. Yes. There's all that footage. I think this it's kind of clear why we are where we are right now. That's what I mean. Like there's just proof that you and Brittany Jax, like the two of you had – we're going through some things. It was going on for a, a long time. Ago. And Michelle and Jesse, too. And Michelle like, and Jesse. Yeah. So this, there's no PR stunt happening no. because they no. didn't just fabricate and gloriously make up all of six this Six months footage. ago. <laughs> we wrapped we wrapped at the actual filming six months mm-hmm. ago. We did pick up cameras recently to kind of, like, do update. a little update. It, 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 yeah. This but, doesn't highlight me in any good way at all. Like, no. this doesn't make us look great by doing this. This is something that we had to do for Brett, Morley, for Brittany, for her mental health. And yeah. just to say, you know what, I need to talk about it because I'm going to lose my mind. And mm-hmm. I don't don't blame her. Yep. Yeah. You know you got to work on some things, and we'll keep it to that. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, what are you most excited about this season, Kristen? Um, I love that now I can say our OB is on Yes, it. yes. So my yeah, the guy that you guys saw in the trailer, that's Dr. Rothbard. <laughs> he delivered Cruz. Yeah. Dr. Rothbard's on there? Oh, he was. I did didn't you see know? him. The trailer. Didn't, it went by fast. <laughs> yeah, it, it was, was Dr. Rothbard. He's I the best. He's absolute it best. It was my OB appointment. Yeah. And he said at age 40, if you have five to 10 follicles, like that's great. And I'm yeah. like, yes. But I would just wanted to like touch on for everyone that I feel very happy that my friends who all gave birth in the same year. Um, <laughs> we all have the same a doctor. Couple of, a few, a couple yeah. of you do. And I'm grateful that you guys all loved your experience with him. So then when I started planning my fertility journey that you'll see on the show. Yeah. That he was He's available for me because I'm like, if he, if my friends trust him to deliver their babies, oh, then yeah. that's what I want in LA. And I, don't, I, I, I think, don't know doctors out yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, well. exactly. And he's so easy to talk to he's, and get oh, along. Like, he's just absolutely incredible. Bedside manner is just amazing, even yeah. whenever I was in the worst pain ever yeah. Yeah. giving birth. Like, yeah. he's just incredible. Um, but so, yeah, you're most excited to, to show your like fertility journey. Yeah, say? because it didn't, as everyone knows, post filming Luke and I did get pregnant we had a loss it didn't work out we're going to be trying again but it's going to be interesting even for me to watch like yeah 
what that was like because my brain is in such a different place. Yeah. And that's another thing. Like, yeah. people don't realize it was filmed so long ago. Like, yeah. you've already, so much has changed for you, too. Like, you mm-hmm. guys went through a, a full on miscarriage. Yeah. And I know that was so hard on you. So, like, how many months ago was that? Um, Just so people know. It, that was uh, like end of November. Okay, yeah. so that was a while ago. And I'm yeah. proud of you for how, like, open and stuff that you've talked about it, because you'll help a lot of women and, that have yes. gone through and, the same thing. That's, and that's amazing. Why it's been helpful to ask. me when pe- sorry, Jax, real quick, but it's been helpful to me when women talk about it on yeah. social media. So I figured, like, how do I film this new show, The Valley, with my best friends from our last show, mm-hmm. with new friends that the viewers don't know, and I'm putting my whole life out there, but mm-hmm. then I'm not going to talk about that on my podcast or the show. Exactly. It's not fair to the viewers. So. Exactly. And, it, and, and it I think healing. that's what's good about uh, us. There's a there's a core group of people, ex Vanderpump people, that really do put everything out there. We don't pick and choose what we talk about. That's yes. not what we signed up for. So what you see is what you get. And and even if we look bad or not, you know, if we're helping somebody out or maybe somebody's going through the same thing that we're going through and we help somebody out, then, then great. And that's that's what these shows are all about, I think, at the end of the people day. People relating. The people relating. This because is real we, life. This is true life. Yeah, real life. Yeah. So. Um, so at the end, you said you'd rather be on Vanderpump Rules. <laughs> yeah, I, I wish you would take that do you, back. <laughs> do you really feel that way now? <laughs> I do not feel that way now. I did you very... Did you mean to say, I feel like I'm on Vanderpump no. Rules and that's I, not I'm what I signed up for? I'm her about what she said, oh, no. Jax. I know. And I'll tell you, I meant what I said in that moment. <laughs> she Why was would just you heated. Want to be back on I, she show. was heated in that moment. Yeah, okay. I was heated. I was frustrated. When you guys see the episode, you'll get why. I, I do this thing a lot over this season that I, you have not seen me do in Vanderpump Rules where I try to take a minute and I try to walk away. Doesn't mean I'm ripping my mic off all the time. <laughs> <laughs> all there, the time. <laughs> I may have had a few blunders like that. How many but, times did you rip off your mic this season? Twice. Honestly. Twice. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Twice. And you got me to put it back on one of those two times. Uh, okay. But I, I do in, remember. In I just that didn't... particular moment when I said that, yeah. that I'd rather be in Vanderpump Rules, I meant it in the moment. Yes. He did. But that was one of the times that I said I needed to step away from my friend, friends or ex-friends cast members. And some people didn't allow that, allow me to do so. They followed me. We were forced with a confrontation. Continued and I was fighting. Like, and I was like, oh, hell no. At this point, yeah, I was, you know, at this You're, point, I'm yeah. thinking, what is the worst case scenario for myself? Oh, I'd rather do that right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'd rather be on the Valley, 100%. Yeah, it's going to be great. And, you know, next season's going to be good, too. Oh I'm already, God. I'm already looking forward to it. So am I. Do you want to hear something wild? When you search for something on Netflix, they only show you a fraction of what is available. Netflix actually has over 18,000 titles globally, but only one-third of those titles are available in the U.S. You're missing out on thousands of great shows unless you use ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN is an app that lets you change your online location so you can control where you want Netflix to think you are located. They have over 100 different locations so you can gain access to thousands of new shows no matter where you live or travel. This works with any other streaming services too, like Disney+. Plus. Hulu, Max, BBC iPlayer, and more. For instance, we just found out that you can watch Friends on UK Netflix and The Office on Canadian Netflix. I mean, the reason I love ExpressVPN is because I do travel a lot and I like to go to my go-to shows and I can't get them when I'm in Canada. I can't get them when I'm in Europe. When I got ExpressVPN, I can get them anywhere. Just open ExpressVPN, select the country, tap the button to connect, and refresh Netflix to watch it. I can stream everything in HD with no buffering. I can watch shows from my phone, laptop, tablet, and TV. And ExpressVPN also protects your privacy and security to keep you safe from hackers. So stop missing out on great TV and get thousands of new shows with ExpressVPN. We got them to give you guys three extra months for free when you use our special link, expressvpn.com slash jacksbrit. That's expressvpn, E-X-P-R-E-S-S, vpn.com slash jacksbrit, J-A-X-B-R-I-T, to get three extra months completely free. When Reality Hits is brought to you by Vegamore. Real change happens when you're consistent, and achieving the hair of your dreams is no exception. As you guys probably know, I have very long hair. After I had crews, I started to notice that it was thinning a little bit, and Vegamore has helped it come back to life and be very luxurious and have all kinds of volume. I mean, a good hair day can change your entire day, so that's why I love Vegamore so much. Vegamore products are 100% 
100% cruelty-free and are never formulated with potentially harmful chemicals like parabens or hormones. Having a monthly subscription of Grow Hair Serum, Vegamore makes it easy to stay consistent. When you sign up for a monthly subscription, you can get one bottle or three bottles sent. Plus, you save more and you never run low. Elevate your hair wellness routine this year with Vegamore. For a limited time, get 20% off your first subscription order by going to vegamore.com slash reality hits and use code reality hits at checkout. That's V-E-G-A-M-O-U-R dot com slash reality hits. Code reality hits to save 20% on your first order. V-E-G-A-M-O-U-R dot com slash reality hits. Code reality hits. Okay, I do want to address one thing (laughs) because I feel like on every, like almost all season long, I'm going to have like a frown face. (laughs) I'm glad you're addressing There is no context on the trailers of what is going on with my freaking mouth. So my mouth is back to normal now. Thank God. But... Like, when was it? Like, three weeks before we started filming, yeah. Jax? Was yeah. It, like, yeah. It was, okay, so, like, three weeks before <laughs> we started filming, I had work done on my double chin. So, he did, like, a little bit of lipo under my double chin, and then he did this thing called Morpheus. Dr. Lakey and Dr. Payman did it, and it, like... Is so that I don't get it. Like, okay, I'll just go ahead and say it. Double chins, we call it the turkey gobbler, runs yeah. in my family. So no matter what I was going through, no matter how much weight I lost, I still felt like I had something there. So I did a, it wasn't that invasive. It was, you know, it was just under my chin, whatever. But my doctors thought that it, my face would be back to normal by the time <laughs> that we started filming. So for a majority of the season, it's going to look like whenever I'm upset or something <laughs> that I've got like a frowny face like this. <laughs> and in the beginning, it was so hilarious because I had to like literally put my finger <laughs> on my bottom lip so that I could speak. Because my bottom lip would not move up and down. This is true. It was so even like during like serious conversations, like Brittany and I would have, she would be talking like this, and I'm like, this is so hard to take this and seriously. When you like this, she's literally she had, basically between your chin and your lip, you have that little like shallow spot. And yeah. Brittany had to like place Hold her it. finger there yeah. and like move like a vent, like a ventriloquist. Yes, kind of. I was like, sometimes I don't she know, would drool. There'd be drool. Sometimes a little bit of drool would come out. Drinking out of a straw or anything was so hard. Now I've got full like mobility back in my face, but people. Were were, like asking me if I had Bell palsy that or I can't think of how you pronounce it Bell pa- um, after I delivered I a- and stuff like that like certain like or, or about my strokes supposedly that I had I was getting all these questions about that and I was like oh my god no so I, I felt like I had to address it because it was like everyone give her a break yeah. remember she had a mini stroke I'm like oh, oh here we go. goodness so I was just like oh my gosh I need to address that because I, I'm pretty sure the first episode they're gonna document the surgery I have like a head wrap on all that that stuff but there's no context for what is going on in the trailer and i just look like like i'm like that frown emoji you, you, know, you look like the yeah the filter <laughs> the, where, the yeah. filter where you're like the really crying. sad <laughs> no especially whenever jackson and i are fighting at that dinner and i'm like i can't have any emotions and like it's like it literally looks <laughs> i was like no girl you have an emotion right now written literally, all over your face literally all i could do is like laugh at myself now and like if you're going to be on reality TV, do not do a procedure three weeks before you start filming. Like, we thought for sure it was going to be back. I mean, every day I'm, like, massaging my jaw, like, oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh. She had a head wrap on, too, for yeah. quite some time. <laughs> but I swear, remember, like, I couldn't smile or nothing. I mean, it was it was funny. It was but funny. But I'm so open about everything I've ever done. I had a boob draw on national TV. Apparently, now. apparently that I made you get. <laughs> I know. I hate when people say that. And now I did this on the show. Like, they did film it. I don't, I don't know how much is going to be on it yeah. but it that was, was like, the first thing we filmed actually yeah but it was like the most la thing i've ever done and, <laughs> and I, in beverly hills yeah i was just like cracking up but I, I make such light of it like and i'm so glad i did it because yeah. it's never gonna grow back and i will not have the turkey gobbler whenever i turn 70 years exactly. old <laughs> it's for your so, confidence yes people. i mean everybody do whatever you want to do with your own body you know i'm all about body positivity and that means whatever it means to you and i think I did not want that turkey gobbler anymore, so I'm That's body right. positive about that. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I just had to explain that because, I don't know, I'm just getting so I'm many so comments. <laughs> and, of course, now it's back to normal. 
So beautiful. <laughs> so, yeah, that's funny. But I make fun of myself the whole season, too, mm-hmm. about it. I'm literally just, like, going on we and on. We have to be self-deprecating or we will not survive. Exactly. <laughs> we mean, have if you to can't make fun of yourself, who can you make fun of? Yeah, like, we won't right. last in this reality TV world if we can't make fun of ourselves. I know. Well, okay, so thinking of that, like, since we all are have been in this for a long time now, uh, you guys are even longer than me, yeah. what would, advice would you tell yourself when you first started reality TV since you've learned so much about it now? Oh, my God. Man. And I'm asking this to both of you, Jesus, too. probably cut back on the drinking. and Yes. <laughs> Don't smoke cigarettes. Um, <laughs> Ever, you know, but especially uh, on camera. Yeah. And the drinking. The truth always comes out. Just uh, be of sound mind when you want to say what you want to say. Even though you think a, a shot helps your anxiety, one shot might. Well, not so much. <laughs> That's another thing about filming. Like, nobody, like I've been seeing in the press that they you get forced. You know how, like, there's been all these yeah. things going on. Like, I don't believe that at all, so we're not a part of that. I just mean, like, for myself, you get so nervous and have so much anxiety sometimes before you film that you, like, you want to drink to try to help that. And then it sometimes it's worse for you yeah. in the end. Yeah. Yeah. No, you're right. You're right. I, I think we, we're so, we're so uh, groomed into doing this. I feel like we kind of forget sometimes that the cameras are there after the first five minutes and then yeah. we kind of get into it. But you know, knowing ahead of time sometimes, especially if there's been an argument or some kind of thing, that's what's different about these shows. Like no, normal people would, if you get in an argument with somebody, you have a couple days to chill, right? We go right back in the next day. Not only that, they'll throw some alcohol at you. So you don't really have time to like decompress and be like, okay, I shouldn't have went crazy because you're still in that crazy mind. And that's mm-hmm. what kind of what they want. That's the only thing really that's different than real life, I think. You have to confront everything no we matter have to what. Confront. You know? Yeah, there's I no there's no taking breaks. Earlier <laughs> than I than I initially did because it's helped so much. Like I've learned to like compartmentalize and like name my so like Patrice the period monster. That's not <laughs> Kristen when she comes around. That's Patrice. I can't control Patrice. She wasn't invited. <laughs> And then Patrice there's like cannot sit with us. She cannot, it's like, <laughs> like when Crazy Kristen shows back up on the Valley in the season. I thought that bitch had been laid to rest. <laughs> like the crazy that I still have is like the investigative. I'll go after people that hurt my friends, my family, yeah. my boyfriend. But like when people just offend me in person, like I literally thought she was six feet under that Crazy Kristen, and she came back and she was like, "No, I'm gonna sit with you. I'm the gonna sit you with were- you at the Mondrian. I'm gonna sit you with the Capri party. I'm gonna sit." <laughs> I'm going to sit with you all the places you don't want me to. And I was like, we didn't invite you, crazy Kristen. Get the f- out of here. She, she, she makes great you. TV, though. She where's, does where's make great TV. TV. Like, where's the stamp on her hand? I didn't know you were invited here. She makes great TV. But I, could, I swear, whenever Michelle was going off on you in the trailer and the way you were, like, just smirking at her, I yeah. was like, oh, that's the bitchiest thing ever. I know. You know that? I She's like, like that. I know. I like that part of me. <laughs> I've, I've also learned it's way more powerful, like, when you do have the moments where you're, like, to lose it and you want to scream at someone like screaming is so not effective you just look like a loud asshole and no one can understand you anyway so if you just keep your mouth shut and I mean, have a little smirk <laughs> or you say it in a really calm voice like this i can be like jack you're a fucking asshole yeah or i can be like jack's an asshole. Yeah. yeah. And you just stare that's more at the hurtful. other person. It, that's, is. it is. Like, that bothers me more. I'd rather you scream at me than Cause go. Because that yeah. person looks like a fool. Who's that's yeah. true. That's but so it, true. But it also looks like it doesn't bother you. And I want it to bother you. And I, yeah. And I, <laughs> and I exactly. And I flip flop between the yelling and reactive yeah. and then have to like go home, pet my dog, sit with Luke. And Luke's like, dude, what happened? <laughs> Could you imagine like, if uh, they brought a therapist on set every time we filmed a scene? No, no, no. <laughs> Like, because then you have to talk about it all again. Yeah. I, can't, I can't put myself through that torture. Um. I have a question. <laughs> what about you, I have Brittany? a question. Wait, I, have a, I, I have want a quick Brittany question. to answer. Okay. Do you think you – know, the, the one thing that is they still don't do it, which I'm shocked they still don't do. But like after we film a scene, I'm just shocked that we don't have like a little area to go talk about what we did like in the moment. Like like because kind of like how real, real world, world works or like a yeah. little confessional off if to the side bad, in the moment. If you're feeling they really heated. Yeah, you, know, you know what? Instead of being like, I got to step away from the scene, I go to my confessional. Confessional is what they call it. Yeah. yeah. And you sit there it's and you're an like, on the fly digress. interview. Because I don't know if a lot of people know this. We do a lot of those interviews down the line. So a lot of those times you don't feel that way in the morning more and you got to get back into that that heated moment that or, you were and in. And you kind of forget. I you mean, it's forget. been six months and we're still doing interviews. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, it's it's been a while. It's right. been a hot minute. And it's like you got to get back in that angry state. And but I know how we be. are. I don't want to be back there again. Like yeah. usually when I'm heated, I'm over it like right after the scene. And I'm like, oh, it's whatever. Just getting back into that. I don't want to visit that person again. Because it's yeah. usually I look back and nine times out of 
Nine. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, why did I do what that? What is that person's name? Is that just Jax? Like, oh, you're Jason, God. and that's is... Jax? Or is there, like, how I have Patrice, and I have Crazy Kristen, I have, like, Negative Nancy, we don't like her either. I have, he's, I have lots he's, of um, people. In I don't want to self-diagnose, because I've gotten, I, yeah. I, I don't know. There's definitely something wrong with my brain. There's, yeah. I'm aware of that. I'm trying to, you know, figure Jack, that jacked out. Jacked up Jax. Jacked up Jax. I don't yeah, know. We don't want him I don't to know. sit with us. Yeah, he's a he's not a good person, especially when I get back no. into a corner. Yeah. Uh, and they're all coming at me, especially mm-hmm. when like a lot of them are being hypocritical. Because let's be honest, everybody on the show has pretty much done everything. Okay, yeah. we've all done the same thing. So anybody the time they're yelling at you for something, they've done the same thing. We've yeah, but the you're sh- the one who starts stuff all the time. Yeah. I don't That's start. So it. it's it, you can't just, be like, oh, I'm only like this when I run back into the corner because actually you are the main issue a majority of the time. Well, there wouldn't be Vanderpump rules if I didn't. Well, I'm just saying, you can't say that you only do these things when you're backed in the corner because well, that's not true. Yeah, because you I do, do like to light you the You gotta match. work on I yourself. Poke and the then, bear. Yeah, you like, yeah you, exactly. Yeah, you poke the bear, but you don't want your bear to be poked. Exactly, yes. Because your bear... You that's can true. you can yeah. dish it, but I mean, you can't fair. take it. I can take it. I can just. I'm just gonna, know. You're gonna hear it. I don't like to full. take it. <laughs> I'll dish it, but I don't want to take it. Well, nobody wants to it. take it, but I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a little bit of extra. I'm not gonna just sit down and take <laughs> I'm it. I'm gonna give you extra. You know, I'm not gonna sit there and like take yeah. it. I'm gonna say something in return, whether I'm right or wrong. I feel like I gotta say something. You hit it where it hurts, though. Like you will like dig in and like really make people feel bad about themselves. That's the difference. Yeah, I, yeah. Learned, I think I learned that from Lala. No. And Sheena. Lala didn't even join until <laughs> no, season did, four. You've been that Sheena way since before you started filming. And Lala filming. does it too. Lala, Lala does, does that too. Lala does it too. real bad. Yeah. yeah, but you have been that way since before you even started filming a TV show. <laughs> Once again, yeah. you're welcome. Tequila Katie does it. Gosh. Tequila Katie likes to go for the jugular. Yeah. Jax does. Yeah. Uh-huh. Lala does. I say what people are thinking. Uh, I just yell. I just yell and go. But yeah. you are going to work on yourself. I am, I am yes. working on myself. It's a, it's, and that it's is important. It's I gotta. I can't. Lie. It's tough at, at forty four, going on forty five to change your ways after being so a no, certain way not. for so long. No, it's not. No, it's not. For you, I did it for you. It's and maybe, I'm telling you, for me, it's, it's hard. You already fine. were already on a good path and changing already. You b- became a father and did like a bunch of really w- w- like good work on yourself, yeah. and yeah. it's kind of like you're. Yeah, Jeff, I, a little I bit. challenge you to look at it this way, especially because we're back on TV. How much I love how you guys are giving me. A, no, advice. I'm just saying. I'm <laughs> challenging. <laughs> Neither of you are, could give I'm advice. I'm challenging. I give you advice all I'm day. I'm challenging you to, to look at it this way because I this could work. I don't know. But because you're back on Please TV. Please don't say you're challenging me. And, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm saying you challenge yourself to look at it like how much fun it would be if you had control over your reactions yeah. and yes. nobody even saw it coming. Exactly. I need a, I need a and pill that's for why that. when I mm-hmm. did that, this in in moments when I did that this summer, I was like, oh, that was so good, Kristen. Good job. Pat me on the back. <laughs> and then when I would snap, I would go home with my tail between my legs and I'm like, Luke, I thought I was different. I don't feel, know. <laughs> you feel bad, you know. But I can't blame I always it on feel anybody. bad after. I always feel bad after. I, I, you know, no matter how many get not getting into a relationship, but no matter how many arguments I get in, usually you and I will argue like we'll go after each other and then five minutes later I'm like, do you want to go get something to eat? Yeah, but how long can I put up with that? Yeah, you no, know? I agree. I agree. But like we don't really let it sit, you know, we kind of move on from it. But yeah. little did I know you were burying that. I didn't yeah. know that. But yeah. anyway. Yeah, it's all right. We can all we can still grow and change for Hell things. Yeah. And I, you know, I believe that you can. I believe I can too. It's just going to take maybe a pill, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> a therapy I take, session. Or I take something. a couple of them and some um, therapy. <laughs> you know, I thought maybe cannabis would help. It doesn't. Uh, mm-hmm. I thought maybe I had to stop smoking because it just started making me paranoid. Yeah, even though it's legal here in. California, I get the, and I know. get the munchies too. Oh gosh, the munchies for are, no reason. Yeah. <laughs> the munchies are something serious, Shoot. and okay. I don't want celery. You know <laughs> what I mean? <laughs> we want French fries. <laughs> when reality hits, is fueled by Factor. Eating better is easy with Factor's delicious, ready to eat meals. Every fresh, never frozen meal is chef crafted, dietitian approved, and ready to go in just two minutes. You'll have over thirty-five different options to choose from every week including Calorie Smart Protein Plus and Keto. Plus, there are more than 60 add-ons. These are restaurant quality meals, folks. This week, our recommendations are the ground pork cheddar chili and mac with garlic chive corn and broccoli and the vegan mushroom marsala with onion, risotto, and roasted
shredded garlic green beans. We're so busy right now. I need meals on the go. I need meals quick, but I also need healthy meals. I'm trying to get rid of that dad bod. Summer's around the corner, and these meals just make you eat healthy, and they're delicious, and they're ready to eat really, really quickly. Discover a wide variety of easy options for the entire day, like breakfast, midday bites, and more. Factory meals are ready to heat and eat, so there's no prepping, cooking, or cleanup needed. Get as much or as little as you need by choosing your meals every week. Plus, you can pause or reschedule your deliveries anytime. FYI, Factor is less expensive than takeout, and every meal is dietitian approved to be nutritious and delicious. Guys, summer's around the corner. You want to get healthy? You want to start looking good? Factor is the way to go. Head to factormeals.com slash realityhits50 and use code realityhits50 to get 50% off. That's 50% off your meals. That's code realityhits50 at factormeals.com slash realityhits50 to get 50% off. Order now, guys. Summer is around the corner. This episode of When Reality Hits is brought to you by Booking.com. Booking. Yeah, Booking.com offers so many possibilities across the U.S. for all the travelers you want to be. From relaxing beach resorts to remote mountain cabins, the multitude of choices across the U.S. on Booking.com allow you to book whoever you want to be. I'm definitely a different version of me depending on where I'm traveling and who I'm with. We are excited about booking some ski trips and some trips to the beach. I love Florida and I love using booking.com helps me with all my traveling needs. Everything is there and ready for you to go. Hawaii, here I come. Oh, I cannot wait. I've got so many trips to plan and booking.com is awesome and it's so easy to use. This spring, check out booking.com for your ideal hotel or vacation home, no matter where you go in the U.S. Book whoever you want to be on booking.com. Booking. Yeah. Okay, so um, if you guys have been following us on social media, you probably saw that we all just got back from Lexington, Kentucky. We were at the Comic-Con. It was the three of us plus Tom Schwartz. How uh, did you love Kentucky, Kristen? You've been there a couple of times with me, of course. I think, yeah, I've been, that was my fourth time. I'm always with you. Yeah. But that's my favorite part because I felt like even though we it was work because it was Comic-Con, it was so much fun. Being with the three of you, especially having Schwartz along, being yes. like the idiot comic relief that he always is. Yeah. <laughs> He's so funny and doesn't, you know, want drama or to talk about anything regarding work. Which I love which so much. Which is so fun. Yeah. But also it's like we got a little mini vacation to go be with your best friends and your family. Yeah. And my best friend drove down from Michigan, so she got to meet my best friend in L.A.'s best friends from home. And yeah. that to me was just like, what a fun little trip. Yeah. And Kentucky's so like cute and fun. Like everywhere we and went. It's like home. Like, yeah. It's so chill and down to earth. All my friends came. So our first came. Comic-Con. Yeah. Really excited about it because we're gonna. I'm going to do more. Yeah. I'm super yeah, excited about it. Yeah, we definitely want to do more. I, I, I had such a, I was super excited to be invited uh, to that. But yes. uh, I'm, I'm excited to do some big cities. Yeah. It's Miami, Dallas, Chicago. It was our first, one. Like, it was our I, first yeah. one. Yeah. We didn't know what to expect. I mean, people are dressed up in costumes everywhere, say, walking each other like dogs on leash. Yeah. Okay. So, what was like? I'll ask the question. Okay. What was the weirdest thing each of you saw on Comic Con? Jax is going to go first. Okay. At Comic Con, of course. <laughs> and of course. And I was so mad. Like every every, I was in the elevator. I'm like, none of you guys were with me to see this. So there is this thing called, and I'm new to this thing called furries. So which is where yeah. people pretend to be animals. Yeah. yeah. So it's there a was a bunch of thing. girls in my 
in my elevator and they all had leashes and muzzles on and they were acting like <laughs> Well, animals. those aren't the furries. The furries actually wear the big, like, I, I would be dressed head to toe as a big like raccoon. Like a mask. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, I like, didn't see it, that. Yeah, no, no, no. They literally have sex in, like, mascot outfits, like Kristen said. No, no, no. These he, were normal people. So that's just a different kind of yeah. thing. Yeah. Furries, like, they cut out where your D and your all your holes are, are <laughs> and they wear, like, mascot <laughs> costumes and they bang. And like, they don't even animals. know. Did you see those there? No. I saw a couple, like, looked like um, teddy bears and stuff, so I don't know if they were actual furries, but that's what furries is. So what you're talking about is just just tell yeah, your she story. Was, it's yeah. a little she was different. in the elevator, like scratching her feet and pretending to be full <laughs> on. Like she was not coming out of character. Like she was in it. And we were in the lobby at the Hyatt Hotel. <laughs> okay. In going Kentucky. from level four to level 11. And I, the whole time I'm like, I mean, is she, is she just joking? Is she going to come out of this? She's staying in it the whole time. <laughs> and I'm like, character. And in my head, I'm like this. And I'm trying not was to laugh. Was she on her hands and knees? Because yeah, one of them was. The other one that's holding her leash wasn't. <laughs> So she's scratching at her feet and all this. And I'm like, and I'm in my head. I'm like, I want to laugh. And I had so many things going through my head. I'm like, oh, I can't wait to my podcast. Did you say anything to those people? No, God, no. I would, what am I going to say? First of, all, first of all, first yeah. of all, my, first of all, first of all, you got to understand, uh, we're a reality show. We were a hundred percent out of our elements. Okay. We stood out like a sore <laughs> thumb. This is Comic Con. This is sci fi, anime, comic uh, books, comic books yeah. you know, and we're reality TV from Cal- Hollywood, California. It's just, <laughs> Bravo. We, so I had no room to talk. I just kept my mouth shut. But the, what I was so mad about is like there was A, no camera in that thing. I just couldn't wait to talk about it on my podcast. And I just, none of you guys were there. The, in the in the elevator to see this because I know you would have cracked up. Oh yeah, I don't. Oh, yeah. I think I would have had to ask, ask a question or yeah. like been like, so what are you guys doing this? Like, what is your what what, what is do you is do? this like something you do so, on the okay. weekends? So like, if you work an at a example bank, about it, Brittany asking a question, <laughs> we were waiting for an elevator as well. Brittany and my <laughs> friend Amy and I, and this this group they. I so Br- you go ahead, Brittany. What did you ask them? You said I don't oh, even remember. You said what you're like, are about. you so and so from Cats? The musical. Oh yeah, I thought he was Mr. Misophilies from Cats, the magi- the magical cat. And they all started laughing at us, <laughs> like six of them, just cracking up at us. And I said, oh, I thought you were like a spin on Alice in Wonderland yeah. because they were in like black and white with like um, different. Like, were they laughing at cats. you or with you? They were laughing. Living. They were laughing at the and, fact that yeah. we thought they were either from Cats the Musical or Alice in Wonderland. Yeah. Okay. They were not <laughs> at all. Okay. So it was something else. It was and we still some, don't even know what they no. were. It was <laughs> because it wasn't our world, like, yeah. you know, those kinds of shows or right. comic books. But they all just looked at us like we were the idiots. And I'm like, but y'all are dressed like. I don't. I know, right? And you, you got to look, and you're like, but again, I like asking you the bite. question. Yeah. They, weren't, they didn't think we were rude. Or they anything. weren't mean. No. no, they were just like, like, like joking. Giggling. Yeah, they were giggling with us. It's like it's it's yeah. You you were in their element. Yeah. You know? So it's like you have to be very kind and respectful, and, and yeah. like, this, this is their world, Brady and they're enjoying it. Costume. Yeah, I was like, we should wear a costume tomorrow. I, I want to know, <laughs> like, I want to know the people that were on the leashes. Like, <laughs> do they work at a bank? Do they work somewhere nine to five during the week? And then right. when someone says, "Hey, what are you doing on Saturday?" I'm going to be walking my friend on. A leash, totally. like what if what they're like you... a kindergarten teacher? Yeah, like are, yeah, yeah. Do you work a at Home Depot? Of a high school, a, a high school principal, a pediatrician, oh, yeah. yeah, and a bank teller walk into Lexington Comic Con, <laughs> right, dressed as furries. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, to each his own. I was just, I, I have so many questions. Yeah, how does this start? Where did this come from? Is it now you should because get it's someone more... from Comic Con on your podcast? I, I think yeah, you should. I, I, just... I mean, I, I love it. Like, I think it's great. Express yourself. Do whatever you want to oh, do. Yeah. It was just our first time seeing it in person. Right. I've never seen it yeah i've seen it on like movies and things like that but like seeing it in person is different because like all of a sudden like batman will walk by and then a vampire will walk by and ninja then Turtles. a kitten walk by and then a ninja the, <laughs> the guy with a cage on his head he had yeah. like a like a three foot tall cage cage on that his was around head. his head and i'm like this is so cool because we love halloween i love yes, dressing up but yeah. i'm also going how the hell do you walk around with that all day long in this heat all day oh. with like this was many- a little musty in there, and there was a million people walking so around. Busy. So I can't even imagine. Uh, not only was it just the co- like the Comic Con characters, but we were in a section where there was kind of like I guess you can say you know actors of the past, people yeah. of our generation, the nineties. We had Van Charmed at James Vanderbeek, which was Tom's. Uh, he's it's his idol. He loves yeah. James Vanderbeek so much. So listen to this. I don't ever <laughs> call anybody. I don't like calling people. If you can get it through a text, that's the way to do it, right? I called Tom <laughs> three times the night before. Three times. <laughs> Do not forget your Mox jersey from Varsity Blues. Do not forget it. Do not. I don't like Jax. I got it laid out on my bed. I'm really, I got it. I got it. Sure enough, he forgot it. So I'm like, oh, I was so mad at him when he got there. I'm like, okay, listen, you still got to go get an autograph. You got to go. James Vanderbeek is literally the booth next to us. You got to mm-hmm. go. <sighs> he said it, the autograph session went fine. I just don't think he was really as nice as he could have been. 
Why? I wasn't happy. I just don't think he could have been a little nicer. Tom? No, James Vanderbeek oh. wasn't nice to Tom. Tom was so excited to meet him. Well, what do you mean he wasn't nice to him? He was, I just very, nice he was just like this. He was just like very like, he was just very like, hey, you know, what? Like we were the only ones. So first of all, they're tables, right? We were the only ones in front of our tables engaging, taking hugs, pictures, ha ha. He was just very like. Like, you you never know face. what somebody's going through. I, I, I don't like ever saying that because, like, there's been times whenever I'm rushing through an airport and I can't like spend all that time talking mm-hmm. to somebody like I normally it just, would, you know. Just, and then I don't bothers. want them to think I'm mean. Or, you know what I mean? No, but you're like at a, you're there to take pictures. We're not at Talk we're not at Mike. we're not at the airport. <laughs> We're there to sit there to take pictures. It is your job. Yeah. Well, even people from other booths thought that we weren't even at our booth because we were up in the front of our table talking to people and like literally having full on conversations, asking where they're from. Yeah. They were asking us questions. Yeah. We were being so friendly and people kept because telling we really us. Appreciate yeah, we appreciate people. Yeah, we appreciate, yeah, they appreciate it. it. They're us. spending lots of money to yeah. be there. Their cost of the parking, the food, the tickets to get in. And there's, you're charging for pictures. Like, at least I can do is come up and give you a hug, shake your hands. Yeah. Say, Thank you so much for being here. Well, a lot of people came and said we were the nicest booth yes. there and I was like thank you like that meant a lot to me it's because girls. especially being from Kentucky like everybody actually thinking who are people from Kentucky are way nicer anyway so and, like, you, and you want to know bringing like your friends and your husband from we live in LA yeah right? this Hollywood group on a TV show that you're on yeah and you want to uh, to be represented well exactly right? we're not a bunch of Hollywood douchebags who think we're too cool for yeah school. exactly I agree I can totally people know. were I, so nice like, if I too. were in Michigan yeah. I would be like I hope my friends, everyone Being loves me. Nice. So highlight, exactly. highlight of your trip, Priscilla Presley? Yeah, we got to meet Priscilla Presley <gasps> and took so selfies cool. with her. She was so nice. That uh, was really cool. And we Barbara, met Mackay Pfeiffer. Mackay uh, yeah, Pfeiffer. Mackay Pfeiffer might have been my favorite part. Yeah, Barbara Eden. I didn't ever get to see her. She's from I Dream of Jeannie. I know where she's from, but she, and she's 92 still 92 doing these things. 92 still doing them. Impressive. Now, I don't know there's a lot how many guys listen to this podcast, but I got to see Nitro, uh, Hacksaw, Jim, uh, Hacksaw Jim Duggan, Jake the Snake Roberts, mm-hmm. uh, Sergeant Slaughter. Um, I know Brittany was ha- happy to see some of the people from Charmed, the, yeah. and the other show, Supernatural, that you watch. Yep, uh-huh. um, and, and we got to accidentally hang out with Oh, Ice, my God. We have to tell the Ice story. Ice from Gladiators. Ice from, from American, Gladiators. American Gladiators. So, Krista, tell the story of what happened to us on our let me just say you can get very lost behind the scenes at Comic Con because everything goes through these huge kitchens and everything looks exactly the same behind the scenes. It's a convention hall. Yeah, it's a convention hall. So, it, like, we don't know where to go. Right. So, Mind you, we are talking about Ice from the American Gladiators from the 90s. Go yes. Ahead. Yes. Lori is her name. Yes. But, so, Amy, my, my friend Amy and I and Brittany, well. we're running around, we're lost, like Brittany's saying, and we find an elevator and we see Ice, and she has this big leather jacket, American Gladiators oh, on. Well. She is so buff. She's so good looking, short hair, feisty as shit. Yes. And like you can just tell you don't want to mess with her. No, you do not <laughs> mess with her. I was like, uh, she needs to be on our, on our team, She's on our awesome. side. So we end up getting into this cargo elevator. We're like, oh, wrong elevator. She's like, just get in. We're like, okay, we will. <laughs> like, you don't say no. We're just like, we'll follow you anywhere. I don't yeah. know what to do. We're all looking for the to get back to the floor from like the green room. Yes. And so we pull off on some floor area. There's a younger guy, probably in his 20s, like a convention worker with, you know, his walkie-talkie, like a hall pass monitor. Yes. Type thing, parking, like a meter. A like meter too much made. power. Yes. <laughs> And she says, where is the celebrity floor? We're trying to get to that floor. And he's either not answering and saying, well, you don't have the credentials, essentially. And she's like, how old are you? How old are you? You're not going to tell me? Okay, fine. Okay, bye. Bye. I think we're he said 30. Anyway. And she goes, that's exactly okay. why you don't know who I am. Do you think I would wear, wear this, this jacket, jacket for no f***ing reason? I was like, so, oh, my you, God. The, the jacket she was wearing, all the American <laughs> gladiators were wearing this very loud, obnoxious leather coat that said Ice American Gladiators on it. Yeah. It was very loud. Yeah. Like, obviously, she's wearing that because right. you know, she's a celebrity and this yeah. is what her fans want to see. We just didn't have our lanyards with us. Correct. And, and she is but like. she was a, just a boss bitch. Like, put, she was like, like, come on, girls. Like, like. Uh, shuffling us back to the elevator. We and we were like to... ducklings, just walking behind her in a line, like whatever mama says goes. Yeah. Yeah. Also, yeah. we live in the valley. Wait, you live in the valley too? Yeah. We should hang out sometime, Ice. I mean, Lori, uh, ma'am, <laughs> Miss Gladiator. It's, I love her. her. We She's get, intimidating. Her we arms got to are the, huge. Yeah, we got to the elevator and I, I looked at her and I go, you are a boss, boss bitch. bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, she's she she's really got sweet she's got the body us, yeah. of that reality or that one show we watched was it Killer Sally the body of that but the face of Bridget Nielsen yes 
Absolutely. She's okay. prettier than Bridget Nielsen yeah. is now. I thought Bridget Nielsen. Yes. No, Bridget Nielsen. Rock, and our younger era, guys. Rocky Ford. Yeah. Sorry. That's yeah. pretty straight. But that was a cool story because we were just like running around the back of the convention center, lost as can be with ice. And yeah. I kept calling her Ice Spice. Ice Spice. Ice. <laughs> rapper. <laughs> oh, and we loved Lance from Yo Gabba Gabba. Oh, yeah. That yes. was cool, too. He came over and like played with the kids, like did like a one-on-one. My niece it was at the... Um, our booth and my one of my best friends, her son Nash, was there, and he came over and like in his costume and his orange costume from head to toe and like spun them around and played with them. I was like, that is so cool. And for me, it was really cool that you guys got to have crews there and yeah. your family yeah. and all your friends like to, on the guest list to be able to come and hang out yes. at the booth with us. That was like my favorite thing because we were working every single day that we were in Kentucky, so it wasn't a normally. Whenever I go home, I am going somewhere 24 7 because i have such a big family and i've got so many friends so i just was able to put them all on our guest list and they all came to our booth and supported us my whole family my brothers um my sister-in-laws i mean my mom was there my dad was there my dad loved it he was like talking to the whole Side crowd autographs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He was my dad was eating, eating it, up. it up he was eating it up yeah. i think the highlight too was obviously our favorite place to eat jeff ruby's shout out to them for yes, cooking us so up great. and making it such a wonderful meal for all of our friends we go there every time we're in town every time and it's just an amazing place so we love that yeah we had so much fun and um lex live was so fun we went to lex live it was right across from our hotel so we did bowling all night long Mm -hmm. with all of our friends that was a fun night it's basically like a dave and busters for the people that don't know what it is yeah Yeah. um so kristen what was the craziest thing like costume or whatever that you saw the cage head oh yeah a lot but then also (laughs) threw me off um there was a really cool, like, legit-looking Batman guy, but then there was, there was yeah. Also, movie quality. Yeah, movie quality. But then there was another one that had, like, a paper mache head, like, the size of my kitchen. And I'm like, how do you carry a Batman with a paper mache head? Like, almost like those little bobble dolls, oh, you know? Oh, yeah. I don't think I saw that guy. And it was just like, how do you carry that thing on your head? Just anything with people with shit on their head. Yeah. Like, you walk around <laughs> all day, and I'm wearing, like, my Spanx girdle thing under like just pants and a t-shirt i'm sweating my tits off and they're walking around in yes. full costume you it's know it's so impressive like yeah the people watching the, ded- the dedication the dedication is, is oh, awesome yeah. people just i mean they they just pull out all there the was one creepy guy though that i thought was creepy because he was wearing like what they I, I guess you would see it in movies or maybe like the olden days where it's like all black and you can't see their face and then they have like oh, yeah. a gas mask on their face yeah. that was scary yeah Especially with all that goes on in the world. I was because like, ah! we, were, we were talking when we were getting ready, going, do they have like security? security? Do they check bags? I don't know. Because I don't, do you see some of the weapons that people were bringing in? Yeah. Like yeah, some of the guys that real. were dressed up as like the, the Fortnite and everything. I mean, full axes. There's some guys with like full axes. And yeah, there was no security yeah. there. There was no. I mean, I don't think they were real, but they looked very real. Yeah. Yeah. I don't it know. It was impressive. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, there's a little bit of everything for everybody. The people watching was amazing. And the, these vendors out there who grind all year long go to Comic Con mm-hmm. for Comic Con selling what they sell. Really, really cool. Saw some really, really cool stuff. And the fans were all so nice and so, so nice. sweet and yeah. so cool. So we really appreciate you. Guys. Yeah, we really appreciate it. It was a really it. good time. It was fun. And I'm glad that we got to do it. And I would definitely go back. Oh, yeah. Same. I can't wait for the next one. All the workers, everybody was just amazing. Yeah. And of course, I just love being home so, so much. Really fast, I want to ask you this, Kristen, because we talked we talked about this on our podcast one day, and you weren't with us. You know how Jax went to Vegas for that power I slam? I knew it. I knew <laughs> yes. you were going to bring it up. So he literally comes home, and I think I've told you the story, but I want to get your reaction okay. on the podcast. He comes home from Power Slap, and he was like, you know who would be really good at this? Kristen Doty. <laughs> I think you would. I think you'd be really good at it. Do you see those girls on there? They will kill you. I was was getting sent (laughs) videos from when you were there from our friend lawyer. Uh Joe. Joe was sending me videos of it. And here's the thing. I would be great at tortilla slapping. Yeah. (laughs) What is that? Tortilla slapping. Where you smack someone with a tortilla. (laughs) You have to put water in your mouth and you hold it in and then you... Take turns. We need to do this at home. We need to do it next season on the Valley. Why can't we just do it when we go home today and video it? (laughs) I need to try I would love to hit you with a Oh, I would would just love it. Look at this. See, this is the shit that I got to do. They all want to line up. Take a number. There's a lot of people I want to hit with a tortilla. (laughs) Brittany's just not one of them. I feel like I'm up there, though. You're at the top of my list right now (laughs) for a tortilla. (laughs) There's a lot of people on the Valley I'd love to smack with a fucking tortilla. (laughs) I'm not going carb-free whole wheat either. I'm going like maybe corn. Full on corn. 
Yeah. <laughs> Not even flour. It's no. got to be the corn. Yeah, exactly. That is hilarious. <laughs> corn. <laughs> Like the burrito <laughs> size. Oh, shit. Jax, do you have any que- uh, questions for Kristen before I get into questions from fans uh, that you wanted to ask? Yes, my book is still available on Amazon. <laughs> yes. Do you have anything do you want to say? Just that. Your book's still available on Amazon. What about your merch? Yeah, and James May is up and running and doing really well. Yeah. And, you have a lot of Valley and stuff. And we have, we have a little Valley section now. That's so we awesome. We have like a couple things to say the Valley and because that's where we live. What's going on with the, the wine? Show. And which is a Wheel Wine. I'm so excited. Katie and I are still doing that. And I'll be bringing some of that to our premiere party. Wait Woo-hoo! a minute. You're involved with Katie with this? Just yeah. Katie and I. Stop. Oh, I was going to say, can anymore. we bring it in the bar? But then you said Katie. I'm like, no. Nah. Oh, we. I'm, I'll still support, girl. Thank you know you, that. Jax is, just, and I won't, Jax is on a, a little trip right now because he knows that that's going to be on the episode oh, on wait, Tuesday. See how, I, I'll, see how I'll convince him like this. Yeah. But then I don't have to use anything from the, bar, the open bar tab. I'll just drink my own wine. <laughs> You're definitely bringing it, and you know we will support. I'll support both of you. I definitely want to say that's kind of what Tom and I were talking about. We're like helping support each other's bars. Like I'm going to have some stuff at his bar. He's going to have some stuff of mine because if people don't get a chance to come to our bar, his bar, they can at least get some merch. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And your podcast, yeah, Kristen has a podcast. podcast. Luke and I are getting ready to announce the new name next week. Are you going to change your name? We are going to change our name. Sex, love, and what else matters worked really well for a while, but it became it's so niche. It's really difficult to get certain guests on. Yeah. Um, which I didn't really think about at the beginning. You know, not everyone wants to talk about their love life and their sex life. I, I, I get that. I never can, thought about and that. And we can only interview so many sex yeah. therapists. And yeah. so my, I, I, I need to talk about other things. And that's why I'm glad we picked When Reality Hits because yep. you can talk about any, anything. You're that. welcome. It's that just was Luke my and idea. I, it was mine. It was not Reality <laughs> Hits. That was mine. It was mine. Oh my gosh! Who was it for real? Mine, Brittany. I don't believe that for a second. When when would you come okay, up with I'll that? I'll give idea? you Cruz's name, but I'm taking when reality is. I don't believe that. I'm the one who who had to see if there was any other podcast. I think I've made it up. Did I make it up? Are you gotta be Just kidding say it definitively, me? Definitively, Brittany. Just say I made it up. Too. I made it up. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't remember. What? what? Uh, I really don't it. remember. I think it was me. It. I'm going to go find my text thread with our manager and see who actually said it because I don't think it was me. <laughs> 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 we knew we wanted the word, word reality in it. Yeah. yeah. And I thought when reality hits, it kind of was okay. I, we no, were no I longer on Vanderpump anymore. We were like, all right, this is the real reality. <laughs> yeah. We don't have a freaking job and we're sitting it's hitting, here. It's hitting hard. <laughs> yeah. Just yeah. like my tortilla slap. <laughs> We got a video of that at the house. That's Hell just yeah. that'll go viral. That is funny. We should do that for sure. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go on to a um, couple questions. I have one question. Can I just get yeah, it out of the way? Yeah, ask him before. Ask him before. Uh, this is, I think, somebody was somebody got back and, and dug deep into one of our old episodes of Jackson Brittany taking Kentucky. Oh lord! And they were asking, like, Jax, do, do you ever go hunting with uh, Brittany's family or brothers? Now, I did it one time on the show. I my I had a gun. I think I held a gun, but it was not loaded. Nothing against hunters because I eat meat all the time. You do what you got to do. Um, I just can't kill something. I, I just can't. Either. I, I have, can't either. I can you, kill you've bugs. You've never hunted. Before? No, no, that's you not my fish, thing. But not. Hunt. No, I can fish. We yeah. we throw it back. Yeah, same. But I cannot kill an animal. Oh, can I kill bugs? Yes. I don't think fish really have feelings personally. I just so. here's, I still feel here's bad this is what I have. Back. This he, is he killed I, a bee in front of wait. me the other day, and I was like begging him not to kill can it, I, and he still finish. killed it. Let me finish. Let me finish. Okay, a couple things about hunting. Um, I unless you're a vegetarian, I don't think you should complain about hunters. You can't say you shouldn't kill something then go eat a hamburger. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's okay. Also, hunting is not fun. Like you can't eat snacks, you can't listen to music, you gotta spray, you gotta spray urine on yourself from another animal. You got you can't talk. I just like that you can't eat snacks. You can't eat snacks. You can't. you can't crinkle a chip back. No, you can't. <laughs> It'll scare can't. all the deer away. You can't. You can't talk to your the person next to you because the answer is no. Where, you've never hunted. Where I'm no, from, like no. my brothers and stuff, like if they go hunting, it's because it's deer season because it's so overpopulated and that the, it kills and the, all the crops. And the coyotes are yeah. overpopulated. And so, like it's like certain and they, reasons, yeah. and they actually yeah. eat it and use and the Luke entire too, animal. Yeah. But I would never be able to do it myself. No, I, can't I won't do even it. eat it. I won't even eat it. People wonder. I just like to assume. How can I handle like Luke being such a hunter and all of that? But I've learned a lot in dating. I, I don't want to see photos. I don't want to hear yeah, about yeah. exactly kill and all of no, that. No, no. I just want to assume it ends up on a, my bun. <laughs> yeah. But he just he's a conservationist. Yeah. And he does it for a reason. He will never kill anything that he's not going Exa- to eat. Exactly. Right. That's right. exactly how my it's family trophy is. Trophy hunting. And they do everything themselves, too, and save the meat like Same. forever and ever and ever. It's like So it's to answer your good. question, that is a hard no on the hunting. <laughs> that was so 
such a random thought. I was like, the Kentucky well, show. Somebody <laughs> messaged me there. They, they, they dove deep in the archives of uh, Jackson Brady taking Kentucky. Love, yeah. and, they're like, and they saw the hunting episode. It was really funny. It was a funny yeah, episode. It because, is funny. Wait, yeah. I have a question, oh, Jax, real quick. Are you still afraid of chickens? <laughs> He's afraid of everything. Yeah, I'm afraid of everything. Yeah, I hate chickens. Like, if we go to the farm, like, I have to handle the horses. One yeah. time, our horse, we were uh, helping my mom, like, put the horses away. And our big horse, like, yeah. not, we have five minis, and then we have a regular horse. She got up in the top of the barn. And I'm talking this barn is, like, 100 years old. We were terrified that she was going to fall through the floors. Yeah. Like, it was one of the scariest moments because we had to get her back down into the stables. Mm -hmm. And I just don't, it just happened so fast. And then here she is walking around on these boards that, like, had already fallen through yeah. before. I like it was to like clean terrifying. out the barn. It was I love terrifying. cleaning out the barn. I used to do that all the time, but I don't want to mess with the animals. I'm not really into animals. Yeah, he freaks out. You don't like, vibe. No, he freaks Nothing out. Nothing against them. I just don't want to be you around don't vibe him. with them. No. My dad had like frogs. He would like, he was freaking out holding the frog like, up. Not like a normal frog, like a frog that's the same size of a cat. <laughs> like, it's like, these are like, these are like, I don't know, frogs. Like, <laughs> I think it would be so funny to take Jack's noodling where you like put your arm in the hole in the water and catch a catfish. He would die. I saw some really like attractive girls doing this. Like <laughs> college girls in sororities. That's what they do in Alabama. Because in the South, like that's normal. Like I, know, I grew up like, doing fishing and stuff and uh, camping uh. and doing all that stuff. Should we stuff. make Luke take him to do that? No. That would be hilarious. Not that would be hilarious. <laughs> oh my God, no. Next, season two season <laughs> of The two? Valley. That would be so good. Oh, one thing that we forgot to mention at Comic-Con really fast. Um, they had a credit... <laughs> Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> they had a credit from my, uh, what's it called? IMDb. IMDb that said I was in a, a movie called God Bless the Broken Road. <laughs> and they had it on my banner. Like it, it was part of my credit. So they had like, when we, or they had, um, Banner Pump Rules. They had Jackson Breen Take Kentucky. They had The Valley. And then they had God Bless the Broken Road. <laughs> and it was just a photo of the movie on my huge banner. And I, and I walked up to the booth and I was like, what is this? You want to hear something, Britt? And, and it was funny because we Googled to see like if somebody looked like me in the movie or whatever. And come to find out there was an actor with the last name of Cartwright, but it was a male and he was a, a African American man and his last name just happened to be Cartwright. So somehow I got the credit for that movie. So I asked what they do with I the was banners. Cracking up. I asked what they did with our banners when they're done. And I know like uh, Tom signed his and someone took it. Um, my best friend took mine back home. You damn better believe I took yours home, Brittany. <laughs> I was like, sold, <laughs> God bless the Broken Robe banner up and put it in my suitcase. That is hilarious. And I'm going to hang it at our premiere party somewhere at Jax's bar. <laughs> Surprise. That, that was just so funny. And they, they just took the credits right off of that website. Yeah. And like nobody asked our I manager or the anything. Movie now. Oh, I've got to. And uh, props to the Cartwright in that movie because you put me on the board. Uh, his name is Arthur Cartwright. Arthur, Arthur. We knew it was an A. I was thinking, we were thinking it was an A. Arthur Cartwright, shout out to you. Cartwright's my, rule. Woo. My movie was on there too that I totally forgot about. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't have Randall. Sharknado on there though. I uh, know. They, they didn't, didn't have, have Sharknado. <laughs> nope. <laughs> this was the first movie, though, that I actually had, like, lines with Robert De Niro. Yeah, and, then so, and that movie only made $8. <laughs> John Malkovich was in it, Robert De Niro, <laughs> Jax Taylor. It had, like, all these and amazing— Jack It had all these amazing actors in it, and it literally made $8. Well— I saw it on, on Randall that it made $8. Randall deserves that. Did Randall stream it twice? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> That's what anybody gets uh, for working with that trash human being. Yep. By the way, still has not paid me the 75 grand nope, that he owes me. he's still the troll of the week every week. Randall, Fofty's going to come after you. Jax wants his money by Monday. <laughs> right. Okay, couple quick questions before we go. Um, Kristen, this is from AER512. What's the best part about not being a server or bartender anymore? <laughs> Oh, I think just like having more freedom to do what I love and what I'm passionate about and realizing that at my age, I can make more money doing those things. True. <laughs> and obviously, okay, let's get all like weepy for a minute, but like having the platform to not have to do that job again. Yeah, but yeah. I will say when I did that job, damn, my legs looked good. <laughs> <laughs> running my around. arms. Same, girl. Same. Yeah, running around and like, shaking shots. And like my arms were so good then. I'm yeah. Like, Damn it. <laughs> it was like a shake weight 24-7. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Be Goody 09. How is it living in the Valley versus living in West Hollywood? Are the people more friendly? I love the Valley so much more. Me I too. get anxiety when I go to West Hollywood. The parking, same. the people, the tourists, the traffic. It's just, it's like apartment, apartment, business, business. Yes. And we cross over the hill and it's like, 
houses. A neighborhood. People yeah. walking their dogs, riding a bicycle. Agreed. And people, I, th- I think, are kinder, too. Not yes. that everybody's mean in Hollywood, but, like, no. they're friendly. From Kentucky, it's like you wave at everybody. You say hello to somebody if you're in the elevator. But, like, nobody does that in L.A., I've mm-hmm. noticed. And it's very strange. Okay. Um Okay, hold on. Let me see. Can I give a quick? Can I say something really quick? Yeah. Just to let you guys know, the show is uh, we are going to be doing a, a viewing of the uh, show at Jax's next week on Tuesday. Yeah. We are having a premiere party. We are also going to be having our first St. Patrick's Day day party. It's going to be a big one. Yes. So look out for that. And we got our sign today. And yeah, we got our sign put up, at, at the, like our actual sign, because we didn't have a sign from the outside, so people couldn't really tell where to go in at. They but now like we have, <laughs> Yeah, but now we have a sign. But um, oh, we're also having our premiere party, so we get to see on the 14th. So we'll have a red carpet, and we all get to get dressed up, and, and our friends are see coming. the first episode. We finally get to see the first episode on the 14th. I can't wait. And if you live in L.A., I better see you there next Tuesday. Yes, March yes. 19th. Don't okay. forget to watch The Valley. That'll be our first episode. That'll be the first time you guys get to see we'll it. We'll all so be there. Tune in. Yes. We'll all be there. We'll yeah. all be okay, there. so come and visit us. Hang out with us. We're going to have drink specials. We're going to have a good time. And we're the gonna... one on the 14th is closed because it's for the you know production the and for us and the networks and everything. It's good, but we're but the so 19th excited. Open to the public. Yes. Better see you guys there supporting. It better be loaded. This is from Laura Baccarat underscore. If you guys could do a roast again. If you guys could, if you guys could do a Jack's roast again, what would you say? So oh. we had an episode, if you guys remember, on Vanderpump Rules, where we did a birthday party where Jacks was roasted. Yeah, I need to work on my material. Oh, no, I know. I can't just come to, come up with something off the cuff because I mean I could, but I need to save it. I would do so do much roast. better now because I was so nervous that Jax first is time. Gonna be Forty five. Last time we did it, it was his fortieth birthday. Maybe we should do another so let's one. Do a roast at forty five. We should do another Great. roast. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to think about this, Laura, and we're going to get back to we that because that's, a, that's a good question. one. That is a good one. Okay, one last question. This is from Life with Amber. What is Dodie's biggest regret? I mean, <laughs> I that's a whole other podcast. <laughs> no. <laughs> James Kennedy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I can't believe you guys dated. I Because uh, I, whenever I met Kristen, she was not with Tom Sandoval or James Kennedy. So for me, it just seems like that never happened. So it's so to crazy <laughs> to think that you guys ever dated. Either one of them. Oh, when I look at Tom Sandoval, I'm like, wait. I know. And that was a long time. Yeah. How long did you date Tom Sandoval? Almost six years. Whoa. How long did you date James? Like a year plus. But still, yeah. I just can't even imagine you with either one of them. Yeah. I, I, I'm still confused on the timelines with everything, but didn't kind of Ariana did the same exact thing that ish? Mm, as it, what? Is it is it a little foggy? Kristen I mean, wasn't this, really friends with Ariana. I then, wasn't was it? friends. Okay, yeah. but so was Tom uh-huh. canoodling, that's yes. the word I'll use, <laughs> with Ariana while you guys were dating? Yes. Okay, so... But you're so, why, so why so doesn't it affect me the same way? Or as, Ariana, how come she can be upset about this when she was doing the same thing to you? Because it, I, I'm allowing her to be yes. upset about anything yeah. she wants to be upset about. And okay. I feel like, and this isn't a, a, against you, Jax, because I've had to answer this question before, but I feel like, if anything, I'm the one person who's allowed to like kind of say what I think is right and wrong. And Ariana and I worked past that mm-hmm. so many years ago. I'm not ago. saying you yeah. did it, but it, it still happened. No, you're right. Yeah, Absolutely. But it, and you guys, did. you and Tom, like, not that it was okay, but you guys were like at the end of your relationship, well, right? Well, so was Ariana and Tom. No, they but were at Jax, the too. you know, Tom and I within those uh, almost... Are you like trying to take up for no, Tom Sandoval right now? Um, you're, no, this is I'm, weird. I'm, t- I'm talking about the fact that, and this is not against Ariana, but she got really crazy about all this, but technically... She kind of did the same what thing. What happened with Raquel was way worse because they oh, went oh, oh my God. It was behind wait a minute, their wait a minute, back wait a minute, wait a for six wait a months wait a in their house. And, wait a minute, on, let me and, and she was best Tom friends. And, Tom and I both cheated on each other for yes. many years. Yeah. And we yeah. were, as you know, because you lived with us. Right. <laughs> it so, was like a terrible relationship that should have ended. Yeah. What he did behind my back was not okay. And at the moment, at, during that time, and Ariana and I, obviously we're not friends, I did think she was the other woman and I thought all these bad things about her. And then when I was able to work past it no one can quote unquote steal your man that man made a choice yeah like, exactly and, and at the same time as much as i did, i don't think it was cool what she did then a trillion years ago yeah 
he's the one that had loyalty to me, not Exactly, her. exactly. It wasn't like your best friend who Correct. was with you 24-7 like in your house. I'm, I'm, I'm just, again, hey, I'm, yeah. I'm playing devil's advocate no, here. I know. I'm just For asking. Sure. I'm a lot sure of she people gets ask that. that. Yeah. No, but that's okay. a good question because a lot of people do yeah. ask. Okay. But I just, it doesn't affect me that I'm way. sorry. I got I to gotta say one last thing. I'm sorry. I, I just <laughs> so happened. I don't know why it was on my feed, but did you see that interview with Rachel and her face and when she was talking no. about what was going on? She was just like, she didn't see the smiling and all her videos that she's doing on her podcast. I put like not interested in anything. When anytime that um, Raquel pops up she on my like feed, this. I always like, hit not interested yeah. button on on Instagram, it. Oh and then it won't God. show up on my feed anymore. Yeah, that girl I'm will do anything she can, but not get a job. She will, literally will. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I mean, come on. That's funny. Okay, one, right. actually a funny, let's end it with like a happy one since we just yeah. talked about weird stuff. Um, this is from Samantha Ray underscore. Favorite cocktail. I love you girls. That's what Ooh. she said. What's Ooh. your favorite cocktail? Gosh, it really depends. Right now, I, I love a really good old fashioned or I'm just going like vodka soda splash of something to make it not taste like vodka. <laughs> I you, you know me. I'm Shots. a straight up tequila shot chilled. Casamigos is my yeah. favorite with the orange wedge. But if I am being fancy, my favorite drink is a extra, extra, extra dirty, dirty. Tito's, Tito's martini, martini with, with blue, blue cheese, cheese olives. olives. <laughs> that is my favorite steakhouse yes. drink. Jax, what's your favorite drink? Black on the Rocks. All Black right. Rocks, three Limes hasn't changed in the 17 years no, I've known. Nope. Never. <laughs> never. Nope. All right. Well, I love you, Kristen. Thank I you so you. much for being on again. Thanks for having me, guys. That was a lot of fun. All righty. All Seven right. more days till the Valley. Yes. Seven more days. Make sure days. you tune into the Valley, March 19th. March 19th. We are so excited. And we'll see you at Jackson Studio City if yes. you live in LA. That's Woo-hoo. right. Have a great week, guys. All right. Love you. Thanks for listening to When Reality Hits with Jackson Brittany. Brittany.